So today I'm going to show you how to invite Discord through mobile to your Discord server. So we're going to go to Safari or whatever, Chrome, whatever, and we're just going to type in Discord. And once we type in Discord, we're going to type in Discord Discord bot. And so once we look it up, we're going to click the first thing, Discord, it should be the first thing. It's going to go through, and then once we're here, we're going to press the Discord symbol at the top right of the corner. And once we press it, we're going to log in with our Discord credentials to be able to get the bot. Then once we log in, uh, we're able to uh, uh, authorize it for to our account to connect to our Discord account. And then once we authorize it to our Discord account, we're going to press Add New Server. And once we press Add New Server, it's going to give us a list to which server do you want to add it to. So we're going to press the server we've been working on as server. So once we press that, we're going to go through. So what's the category of this server? Uh, you can pick whatever, obviously, but for this, we're just I'm just going to pick a community. So once I pick community, I'm also going to put up tags. So when people look up certain tags and certain words, then those then your server will pop up what with whatever tags you have. Now there's only five tags that you can put in. So you know choose carefully, and really know what your community is. And so once we add our tags, we're going to also add our description. This is a server, you know? And then finally, the last two options, NSW and public. If you want a server with just 18 plus, then press an NSW. And we're going to press save and agree to the guidelines for, from Discord. So after we press save and after all this goes through, we're going to invite the Discord bot to our server. And we're going to go to add server. And we're going to make sure to continue, then press authorize. And then we're going to press I'm human. Then after that, we should be able to go and set it up on the Discord channel. Now it says all these errors because we need to make sure to use the slash commands to be able to, uh, you know, actually and use Discord bot on our channel. So we're going to go to our Discord server. And once we're on a Discord server, we're going to first. We're going to first make sure, you know, Discord actually got there, but then we're going to go make a roll. So we're going to make a, a bot roll, obviously. And with this bot roll, we're going to go down to the community tab, then down to roles. And once we're in roles, we're going to make a new role. So we're going to call it bot because we're going to just use all of our bots with this role. And so we're going to pick our color. Once we pick our color, it doesn't really matter what color you pick or what you name it, just as long as you has, have a role for Discord. We're going to skip all these because mobile just kind of like gives you suggestions. Don't listen to the suggestions. And then we're going to go on. We're going to skip this, skip this step as well. And then once we're there, we're going to press bot. We're going to go to permissions. First, we're going to uh, agree to display separately and allow anyone to mention this role. So we go to permissions, scroll all the way down, and we're going to give all bots administrator because you know they're not going they're not rogue members or anything they're going to help you run your server well and so what we're going to do now now that we have discord we're going to give discord the bot role so we're going to go to edit roles and we're going to give a bot there we go all right then once we have this done and in the bot um we're going to make a channel called bump uh because that's what a lot of people do um, I thought about using bots, but I was like, man, eh, so I'll just use bump. Um, so yeah, because that's what a lot of people do. But so once we make bump, we're going to make sure to start using commands. Now, the last command that the Discord used to use was exclamation debump, but we had to first set up the command. And the reason why it's not working is because we need to use slash commands. So make sure to use slash commands instead of an exclamation mark because. It, I'm trying again with the exclamation mark to show that it doesn't work anymore. Um, so we're going to press enter and it doesn't work. And it's going to say, hey, you need to use slash commands. So make sure to use slash commands because this board is using slash commands for everything now. So we're going to do slash command and we're going to go down. We're going to scroll down till we find invite. And then we're going to press the channel option and then we're going to press bump because that's the channel we want to use. So once that's set up, then we can make sure that this board is actually working. So we're going to do, again, the exclamation mark does not work. So we're going to do slash command. Always use slash command from now on. And then we're going to go down to bump and then press it. 
and then since we already bumped our server technically since we invited it to our server it's already been bumped but to make sure we're going to jump over to the website to make sure that the server is bumped and that everything is connected so we're going to go to discord and once we're redirected we're going to go to the top right corner again to this discord symbol and then once we're here we can see right there in the time code and the uh, right beside under the server uh, title is is a time link and the time link says hey this is how long uh it will be until you can bump the server again and this is a good way to get members and many many people use it so i recommend it adding it to your server through mobile and this is how so glad to help